Hey, I'm Razion from Increaser.org, and in this video, I want to share with you how I implemented time budget at Increaser so that you can find some interesting bits for your project and learn from my experience. Let's jump in. Time budget feature solves two problems. The first goal is to make you more time efficient so that you complete tasks in shorter time span. Because you track your work time at Increaser, you will see exactly how much time go in different projects. And based on that information, you can change your budget according to your priorities. On the landing page, I tried to explain the solution in the shortest form possible. First, we have a title, efficiency over long hours, more time for life. And then there are three bullet points. First one is functional, have a time budget for projects, so it's explain the feature. And second two, explain emotional state or feeling, do more of what you love, and more space for creativity. On the right side, we show the feature itself. So here we have a budget. The total budget is 29 hours and it based on workdays and weekends. So we have five hour workday and two hour weekends. So total sum is 29 hours. In the app, you can change this, but if you try to click here, you will see a sign up model. And below we show an example of budgeted projects. So here we have remote job of 18 hours per week, then online business, five hours per week, study code, two hours, content creation, two hours, and learning Spanish, two hours. And on the right side, we show how much time users spend on different projects on different weekdays. Showing feature on the landing page is not enough. We need to onboard. We try to not overwhelm user with a lot of information, so we take one step at a time. First, we ask a user how many hours do you want to work per workday and per weekend. Then we ask user to take hours from the first step and allocate them between different projects. And right away, user can start a new focus session. Initially, the budget page looks pretty empty, but with every focus session, those bars start filling up. At the end of the week, user will have more information and could be able to reassess the time budget and change it up. So for example, here, I might decide that I don't want to spend that much time on work. So I would say edit budget, Instead of 25 hours, let's say it would be 20 hours. Then there should be this snack bear proposing user to add budget. So for example, here we have three hours of free time. So we can add budget to, let's say, learning Georgian and make it three hours. And for example, here we can also add a budget to the project that doesn't have one. So let's click here and add two hours. Right now user can set a budget and see if work hours meet that budget. And if he realizes that in reality he works too much and he's not really happy with efficiency, what's next? In this situation, I want to emphasize this chart and move it to the budget page, change it up so there's more information on the work sessions. So user may want to have less short sessions and context vision, and rather than that, have bigger focus sessions with breaks, but with less context switching and longer period of focus to work. But it might be not enough. And in that situation, it would be good to include some educational resources or links to some articles or frameworks about how to manage time better. And it would be the next step for this feature. If you're a developer, you might be interested in the code behind this feature. So here we have a data structure called project. And all I need to do is to add this allocated minutes per week. Also, we store week time allocation. So basically, how many minutes you spend per workday and weekend. So it is an array of seven numbers, so five workdays and two weekends. To set the data, I use this hook called use week time allocation. So here we take week time allocation from the state and then take projects from different hook. Then we calculate allocated minutes done minutes and total minutes. And that's all we need across the app to show different types of interfaces. But now I don't do much analytics on that feature, but I have analytics on onboarding. The funnel starts with finish signup. After that, we show our onboarding. And the very first step is show allocation. Pretty much everybody finished the step, so the drop off is only around 11%. But very few people create projects, so the drop off here is very significant. 36% and it's something to work around and think what could be done differently because it's really a huge drop off. After that, we propose user to start a focus session and here we also have strong drop off 
and not everybody finished their session. So here almost a half drops off. So stay productive.